Hey guys, it's Belps. Welcome to my Void Waste guide. The trash run is exactly the same as the Cursed Waste, so I'm gonna skip that, jump right into the boss. Okay, so before the fight, these pins gonna help you clear the boss easier. So you make six pins, um, line them up with these horns. So there are six horns, so six pins, and then you make three pairs. You make one, two a pair, three, four a pair, five, six a pair. You usually want to pair a tank with a healer and a ranged DPS and a melee DPS. Um, if, you, if four of your DPS is just all like four staff, four um, ranged DPS, you just um, choose which one to be in the front and which one to be at the back. You can also use your personal pins however you want to better find where you need to be. So like if you if you are assigned to be on five and six, and then after mech you like somewhere around here, and then you need to get back to your position, you know where to go back to. When boss is pulled, is immediately gonna do the diamond free attack, so you're gonna have to roll dodge. And you see these lines. Um, these are these are what the pairs are for and the pins were for. So basically, if you are responsible for pin one and two, it's gonna appear from either one or two. So every second horn, and you basically have to stand between the boss and the line, the horn, to block the line from hitting the boss. Um, so if the line hits the boss, the boss gains a stack. If that reaches thirty stacks, it's a wipe. So you have to be blocking the line. And you gain stacks also. If that reaches 30 stacks, you will die. So you need to rotate the line with your pair, but it takes pretty slowly, so it's pretty safe. At 90% HP, boss is gonna put red marker on the furthest person. Uh, we don't see it because the nameplate is too big. But this player was the furthest person, they got the red marker, the same one you get in Cursed Waste, the big red black hole, but this one is much bigger. Now there's two ways of getting rid of this black hole. You go all the way back to the horn, and as soon as the red marker disappears on your head, you run forward. The other safe spot is you running all the way to the horn next to you, left or right, Drop the black hole there and come back to your line. Boss is gonna drop these um, two yellow pools, random person, and then after that, there's gonna be a breath mechanic. So with this breath mechanic, the closest person, so usually the tank, gets the marker, the yellow orb on the head. Uh, similar to the curse waste, instead of purple, it's yellow. And also with the breath, you need to hit these two yellow horns, uh, two horns with yellow orb on them. So he's gonna try line the boss with the horn. And when the boss makes that breath motion, that's when you start moving. Breaks that horn over there and that one. If you fail to break the horn, the boss is going to do AoE after this. The damage is increased on each horn that you don't break. And after the breath, he's going to do either the Circle Fury or the Diamond Fury. Parry that, and then you go back to your position. There is a one more mechanic that we don't see in this fight. Um, I think you only see this if your DPS is really slow. Um, everyone's gonna get this yellow orb on their head. That's gonna do a lot of damage. So everyone has to be topped up. So you wanna get close to the boss so that you are in range of the AoE heal, and you know it just makes it easier for the healer to top you up. So yeah, healers, make sure everyone's full HP. This also might be a HP check. So if you are getting one-shotted, your HP is too low, and skill damage resist trait can also help you mitigate the damage. And then it's pretty much a rinse and repeat. And under 40% HP, boss is gonna now 
put two red orbs. You go back to your line. There's the yellow pool and the breath right after. And also, after 40% HP, he's gonna do the breath mechanic twice. Uh, and when he does the second one, he also chooses new target. So make sure your tank keeps close to the boss so it's consistent. And that's it. Good luck.